This little puppy, Pina, is here for some one-on-ones, and it's for some serious shenanigans. This is after about an hour of work. Um, I'm actually going backwards. The video is going backwards. I'm showing this in slow-mo. Because I'm holding my phone, my handling was poor. See how it's kind of upward, and uh, it was a little heavy-handed? You know, don't, don't be like me. I always like to point out mistakes. Always do more of the horizontal guidance um, to guide the head in the beginning. But this video goes back backwards, yeah. and so this is the end. <laughs> and keep watching for all the good stuff. Good. Good job. Good job, little one. Good. Peanut, come. Yeah, good job. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Place. Place. Good. Good. Good job. Good. Break. Or come. How about come? Yeah, there we go. Like come. Good job. Good job. No. Uh oh, drop food. Good. That's right. There you go. Freebie. So I'm going to grab the. I'm not going to do any more blocking. I'm going to grab the leash and guide. Please. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Nice. All right, that's what I was really trying to get on video for you guys. Kind of how I compromise a bit. Whereas normally I could just kind of slide my foot in with a little leash guidance and the dog gets it much faster. That tends to be too much for her. And that's okay. Nope. Oh, is she going to back up? Not quite. Place. She's not quite resetting herself. That's okay. She will. I'm not going to put any more pressure on her than that. Good job. So that was the after. This is the before. Little Peanut is going after feet and she's having some other feisty issues. She kind of bolted around my foot dramatically. After working with her, I kind of figured out that she's a little nervous of feet. She's got the corgi instincts of a lot of biting and hurting, but uh, and she's also willful, um, but she, she's a little nervous of feet. So we were doing a number of things to just kind of counteract that. Here, I was, I didn't correct her for jumping up on me. I'm just trying to figure things out. So I started doing some positive reinforcement with feet. If I lifted my foot, she'd kind of hold her breath. So then I'd rub her belly <laughs> and give her food and she was getting okay with that. So I was just playing with, with different things. And so the big thing was leash pressure. I wanted her to follow leash pressure. So I stopped using the typical blocking we do and I used uh, leash guidance with food only for a while to get her into a groove because working on the foot stuff and the blocking was making her more unsure. So rather than being helpful, um, it was kind of, mm, she was kind of locking up on me and I, I need her to kind of learn fast. So I had to problem solve quick. So I just let her get off if she wanted to get off. See how I counteracted my body language right there to uh, get her to come on with leash pressure. And so I just started tweaking things, making things much easier for her before layering on light blocking. So I'm still doing all the same stuff. It's just if she got up without permission, I would guide her back on with the leash and use food. I did that quite a bit um, after I was working on the foot thing. And I noticed that she just, even though she was doing better with not being so nervous of my feet, she just didn't like it. So then she didn't want to work anymore. And so instead, see what I'm doing here? Instead, I would use leash guidance and food, but then I started walking forward. So there's all these tiny tweaks I made. Instead of being at the side, I would walk forward and do leash pressure out and away from me. So just all these little tweaks. If you don't know what I mean, just watch this again and, and you'll, you'll see it. But uh, I was just problem solving. That's what I was doing in this owner lesson and to switch things up and work a bit more on leash pressure work with food work, it's I'm teaching pressure on, pressure off. So every time the little puppy feels leash pressure, uh, I kind of stop or I, or I move my feet so she is more inclined to follow me. And then the moment she takes that little step forward, uh, I try to give in on leash pressure immediately. That's like her reward and her teaching reward and then she gets food 
at the end of it. So see there, I did a heavy lure, which caught her eye because she's getting so resistant. She doesn't like to be told what to do. She's a little feisty thing. <laughs> and she was a bit of a puzzle for a while. And, um, and so I was just really taking my time. Part of these owner lessons that I do, the first one, is a lot of evaluation, me trying different things, what's working, what's not working, what's hurting, what's uh, hurting the ability to problem solve and learn. Um, you know, if I need to just give the dog an easy break with food work, uh, is that beneficial or does it make them more jittery and pushy? There's just, there's a lot of, there's a lot of elements to dog training, especially one-on-ones. And here, um, my idea was just to give her a break of the targeting place because we had been working on her nervousness with feet and she was kind of over it. And, uh, and so I was just doing some relationship building for fun. That's what this is. I'm teaching leash pressure. I'm building a relationship between the two of us of follow me and then get food. Uh, she's a puppy. So there's lots and lots of food. So it's just pressure on pressure off. And the trick is the moment she gives in a step or two, my pressure is off. It's, it's like her reward. That's how I'm teaching her what yes is. Pressure on is listen, pay attention, follow pressure. It's almost like a no and then pressure off is a yes. Now here is uh, we, this was right after what you just saw. And I went back to doing a little food work just to make sure she wasn't attacking my foot anymore <laughs> when, when I lifted it up. We noticed it when we actually did the down. We'll do pressure down with our feet. Um, I mean, I already knew she was having some of those issues, but I didn't expect her to launch herself at my foot whenever I did a down. So you always got to be prepared, even with these cute little puppies. But anyway, I just wanted to do a little bit more, see if she'd improved. She had greatly, as you can tell, because um, she was anxious when we were doing this before. Um, she's even starts to show her belly because she wants my foot, like the view of my foot to rub her belly, as well as this tiny little dose of insecurity causes an overly submissive response of showing the belly. And then I've been nurturing it by rubbing her belly. So anyway, not to get too, too into the weeds, but I only did this a little bit more before she went home just because I had to make sure her head was in a good space. And if it wasn't, you know, that would have been a whole nother, whole nother conversation. But we didn't do this too much. It was just enough to make sure she was in a good headspace with feet before she went home. Look at this little cutie. She is hurting her family and biting feet. Four months old, adorable, but feisty for sure. So something really common that we do is we teach leash pressure associated, come, come on peanut, associated with all the basic obedience. Come on, good. And she was doing great, um, really good until we started working on the feet thing. And then she's gotten like, kind of like you saw, a little bit more in avoidance. Um, but that's the thing is, is they, puppies, even puppies have to learn how to work through hard things or they'll have no idea how to deal with their lives. Good. If you just avoid stuff and make them live in a bubble, especially a hardy corgi. Yeah. Sit down. Good. So we've been layering leash pressure onto the bait. No, not in my lap. I love you too. It's peanut, by the way, in case I didn't say that. Even though we did work on hard things, I made it easier so she could be successful. And that's because of many blocking. reasons, no. but look right here. Here's one of them. Overly sensitive to a tiny little block, not even forward, just a little sideways block. So I have to make some adjustments to help this puppy be successful and confident. Down, so, so look, so see she headed for the hills when I stuck my foot out. You're all right, good, good down. Good, oh my goodness. She's nervous, so anyway. I put my foot up and she goes after it and I just freeze and I just let her. I just don't put any energy out into it. Then she started to avoid, which is what you guys have been seeing, her being more resistant. She's like, well, what I usually do isn't working for me. I'm not getting a rise out of the, out of the person. I'm not, you know, getting anywhere with this. So then the next thing I started doing was I would lift my foot and give food. Good lift my foot and give food. I took so many clips because this wasn't your standard case. And it's really important whenever you work with dogs to be able to see differences and adapt quickly. Don't just try to force them into your program and what you know works most of the time. You need to adjust to make sure the puppy gets some success. Some confidence comes through success.